we're here in Kilkelly in County Mayo. Uh, I got sent down to meet with the lads from the Dublin to Mayo charity tractor run. Gareth is busy himself down in Cork, uh, McCarthy's open day. I got tasked with coming down here. Last year we went up to the Phoenix Park to start the run with them, not knowing what was going to happen and didn't know what to expect at all. Um, it turned out a huge success. They raised in excess of 96,000 uh, for the two charities and uh, this year they've got three charities on board and they're really hoping to, to, to raise more money, raise more awareness also. They've got a great bunch of lads here. Uh, they're in the middle of having a meeting here at the minute. Um, the guards are here as well, as you can see, and uh, I think we'll go in and join them now and uh, catch up and see what's going on. So we're here with Brendan Colgan from the Dublin to Mayo Charity Tractor Run. Um, he's going to explain to us a little bit about why this all started and uh, what their hope is for the future. Uh, how are we, Alan? Uh, welcome again to Mayo. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, we started, John, as I say, rang me maybe about, maybe, maybe this time, maybe last year, maybe, maybe a month before this. Uh, John rang me one Saturday morning and he said, uh, he said, as I say, I had a child in, in Tempest Street in, in Dublin. And he also had a child in Crumlin and that and he just said wanted to hook up to see could we do something to give something back to the to the charities. So um he rang me and I thought thought he was mad in the head. He wanted said, How would you be feel to drive a tractor out of Dublin? He said, if we got a couple of lads, so I said, Yeah, I said, of course I'm on board, never thinking anything else would come of it. So um we got together and as I say we met in the park hotel. Uh five of us met and uh, eventually things started coming together. The crew started getting bigger, got on to you guys, Grassmen, and uh, yeah, as I said, the, the run was set for Good Friday, leaving the Dublin. We left Dublin, um, we raised 96, over 96,000 last year. It's, it's both uses that myself and John has got and a couple of the lads on the, on the committee team. We've been there, as I say, we know, we've experienced it firsthand. So it's just nice to give something back. So again, this year we're going again, we're going to go for Dunleary, National Rehabilitation Dunleary and the Special Baby Care Unit of Mullingar and uh, Baby Care Unit of Castle Bear. So, um, three very worthy yeah, charities three again. Charities, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they, they always need money. Of course they do, of course they do. They always there's, need there's never, There's never, mm. never uh, always need something. There's, there's always, always need something somewhere along the line. There's either equipment or, you know, and as I say, it's only when you, when you use it, you know exactly what's, you know, when you're staying in, in the hospitals at night time. You know exactly what, what, yeah, like what beds for parents. Correct. To sleep yeah, they, side, they, you know, you know what I mean. And, kids yeah. and and that and yeah. uh, as I say, as I say, myself and, and John and a few other lads have have witnessed it firsthand. So we know exactly what 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 what's his entail. But uh, but yeah, so we are. We're going again. And as I say, this this little fella here is up for raffle. On, on we know you're a big massive fan, Brendan. Too. Yeah. You've, uh, no, you've no. a yard full of them at home, <laughs> haven't you? No, 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 no. no, no. I'm a blue man. Oh, yeah, I heard you had one. <laughs> No, well, no. you were caught driving this one on camera, <laughs> so you know. I was test driving. I was test driving. Yeah. <laughs> test driving. No, 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 no. I'm a blue. I'm a blue fan at heart. But uh, <clears throat> no, no. This this tractor is absolutely a little beaut. So she's she's up for raffle on the Saturday night that we come home from from Dublin, and also we are so glad to have you boys on board because I mean, oh, it's our pleasure, you know, you know yourself it's, and, it's, and uh, Gareth and and the, and the camera lads. Really, absolutely. it's only a couple of days out of our out of brilliant, our lives like, to, to help brilliant. you. You know, it's not. Uh, I, you know, first of all, too, I'd like to thank. Or anyone, especially yourselves, my our local man there, the tire man Michael Duffy. I'd like to thank Murray Amlins as far they're going to be on board with us too for leaving Dublin. I mean, small things like that. Yeah. We, we might please God we won't <coughs> need them, but you know, it's, it's better to have have them than, than not be, you know, yeah. looking for them on the day, you know. Yeah. And we have say mechanics and that so which is which is great, you know. Yeah, so yeah, the bike marshals that bikes marshals, doing a great yeah, job. Absolutely and, fantastic. And the, the guards and on the bikes and yeah, that, the letters out of Dublin last year. So absolutely right. fantastic and, and they're on again board this year and they, they really are fantastic. But uh, no it's gonna be a great great uh, as I say three nights from Longford, the first night in Longford and then the two nights in Kikele and uh, absolutely brilliant so please god we'll, we'll uh, have good weather that's what we're praying for now is good weather hopefully good weather. better day to day yeah. you know so because I, I believe maybe one of the lads um he's going to want a lot of good weather because i heard he's going <laughs> to he's going to drive uh, from dublin to mayo uh, wearing a dress yeah yeah he's going to wear a dress he's fond of wearing the dress yeah, dresses, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's made into the, the, into the first dresses, time he had it on him <laughs> <laughs> no, he's actually had it there yeah. in Kilkelly uh, at a, a festival. So mm. he's he's he decided that if we get if we get uh, 
uh, over 50,000 that he's going to come out of Dublin and address. So we're, we're looking forward to that part. So that means anybody that's willing to give over a few pounds. Oh, yeah, minute, yeah, yeah. You know, we're, uh, yeah, Anton just to. We to might see Crystal <laughs> in address. Crystal, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Could even see him in this, this, this one. So we could. Yeah. So, uh, so we're with Adrian May here now. He's uh, going to explain to us um, some of the stop points, um, how we can register uh, tractors, and just some various details about the run. Adrian. Alan, how's things? Um, I suppose it's much similar to last year. I suppose a bit of the route has changed. So, uh, as I said, we're leaving Alexander Road in, in Dublin, south of Dublin Port, at uh, 9 o'clock on Good Friday. Uh, we'll have a few stops that we will be arranging along the route. So, kind of Mother Hubbard's will be our first stop, as in pulling. For the breakfast again. For the breakfast course. again, yeah. sure. It's just, as good, it's just as good as last year. It'll yeah, be good yeah. again. We'll have a van going ahead. So, the van will be going ahead, registering up tractors that he meets along the road. We're going raffling this lad, um, 10 o'clock, well we'll say 10, but you know yourself, 10 o'clock Sunday night, um, the tickets are still available, They're, th they've been all over the country with this tractor trying to sell tickets, you know, and people have gone out of the way to buy tickets and rang up to buy tickets, they're buying them online, you know, you know, it's it's a great purchase, it's a great prize, you know, it's it's a fantastic first prize, you know. Yeah, so tell me more about your, your online sales and how people can purchase tickets and where you can be found on Facebook. And well, no, there isn't many in the country that haven't seen Dublin to Mayo on Facebook. <laughs> At this stage. At this stage now, there's been, uh, there's a lot of hits, there's a lot of videos, you know, and fair, it's a lot of credits to the lads involved, you know, to put their weekends on, on, on hold. They load up this tractor and they haul it around the country. This, this tractor in two weeks has been in Dublin and has been to Bill Mullet the following week. So, you know, that, that tells you the, the length and breadth these boys are going to. So we, we have the guard car here behind us. Uh, what's going on here this morning? Well, look, <laughs> I'm sure there's people in the neighbourhood wondering where this squad car has gone to this morning, you know, but uh, we have a meeting here today. The guards have come to the meeting. We have the, the two units out of Dublin coming the full distance again with us. And like that, we've contacted uh, all the guards along the route. So hopefully in the bigger towns, we're, we're not aiming to create traffic delays or traffic no. jams. We want to, you know, create a positive thought about, about how to raise and what, why we're raising and what we're raising for. And this is the way we're going to do it. We're going in tractors. Yeah, they're a bit slower than cars, but everyone involved knows the plan. Everyone involved has been brought through the route. Uh, the motorbike um, marshals at this stage, six weeks out, they've, they've got the route. They've got it on, a, on, a, on a, a software they use called Strava, where I suppose a lot of cyclists and, and, and that would use it. Um, it's mapped out every junction. They know where the left-hand turns, the right-hand turns. You know, we're trying to eliminate as many right-hand turns as possible. Yeah, we probably will be hitting AA Roadwatch and, and, you know, the normal radio stations, the local radio stations on the way down. But again, it's to make people aware that Ireland, you know, they might have been in the vicinity and didn't hear anything about it. Look, we're asking them to dig deep, you know, be patient and dig deep, we'll be gone out of the way as, in minimal time as possible, you know. So yeah. we're delighted to have the guards on board. And again, without them, you know, there's a lot to be said for the power of the blue lights, you know. Oh, yeah. And there's a, is there a bucket collection again on the way down the road? Yeah, we have our permanent scott in good time this year, I suppose. Um, last year we had one bus with bucket collectors in it. This year we're aiming two buses, two sets of bucket collectors. So they'll stagger every second town. So again, that will speed things up. The collectors will be there, they'll be packing up, they'll be moving as the convoy passes through. Yeah. So we've upped on everything. We've upped on, on, you know, safety is paramount with us. Myself, it's, 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 it's my profession. So, you know, it's, it's trying to drill it into the others and trying to, to, to manpower it, you know. And luckily we've got volunteers coming from all over the country. Yeah. So.